Hi, I'm Duncan Wood, Sotero and Product Manager for the UK. Well, I guess you can't mention CRM 2.0 without first mentioning Web 2.0, which was actually coined firstly by O'Reilly Media when they had a conference named Web 2.0. And to quote Tim O'Reilly, he said, Web 2.0 is the business revolution in the computer industry caused by the move to the internet as a platform and an attempt to understand the rules for success on that new platform. So, I mean, what does that mean? Well, it, we can look at the results, things like wikis, podcasts, blogs, communities. It's all about bringing the user closer um, to the producer of the content rather than it just being a static kind of page which tells you what's going on. It's something you can get involved with and actually do something with. So that's Web 2.0. What is CRM 2.0 then? Well, again, going back to um, the originator of this phrase, it was a guy called Paul Greenberg. Uh, he originally wrote the CRM Bible, a book called CRM at the Speed of Light. Since then, he coined the phrase CRM 2.0. And what he's done in a very web 2.0 way is set up a wiki. Uh, the, the, the address is crm20.pbwiki.com if you want to go and have a look at it. Um, and basically set this up as a discussion forum for experts in the industry to actually define what the future of CRM was and put that under a working title of CRM 2.0. Well, a wiki, the most, the most famous one is Wikipedia, and really that's an online in encyclopedia that users can actually update and edit and create new entries in, and it's, wikis are generally this idea, it's kind of like a, a knowledge base, a, a working encyclopedia, maybe in a specific subject area like CRM 2.0, or maybe a full encyclopedia like Wikipedia. So I guess the next question is, what does CRM 2.0 actually mean? We know how it's being defined by Paul's wiki, but I don't think there's any better way to actually define it than Paul's most recent posting in May 2008. So to quote Paul, he says, CRM 2.0 is a philosophy and a business strategy supported by a technology platform, business rules and processes designed to engage the customer in a collaborative conversation to improve human interactions and provide mutual, mutually beneficial value in a trusted and transpa transparent business environment. It's the company's response to the customer's ownership of the conversation. So, okay, so that was quite a long quote. Let's kind of break that down to the elements. Basically, I think what it boils down to is CRM 2.0 is a unique customer experience that enables customers and companies to develop new products and use existing ones in close collaboration. A kind of barrier-free flow of information allowing a community to identify the respective needs of that community and for a company to look at that and deliver the right solutions in an agile fashion. I think one of the examples of diversifying media channels that affecting CRM systems today, for example, is e-marketing. Um, there's kind of two aspects to this. Uh, the legal implica implications um, that, you know, it has to be permission-based for you to be able to email somebody um, from the Data Protection Act. But there's also the other side um, where you've got the click-through information being stored in CRM and you can data mine that to find out more about the profiles of the people uh, who are actually being marketed to and maybe tailor your marketing to their actual preferences. Um, yeah, and that's kind of currently working. I mean, if we're looking at the demographic groups of who has the most kind of disposable income, that's definitely kind of like Generation X, people my kind of age, and Generation Y are coming up as well. And, you know, we're sort of used to that. We kind of understand it, and it probably works at, at this point in time. But I think what will happen is as the kind of I generation, the internet generation, become more of a major market force, then these CRM 2.0 ideas will gain a lot more importance in the marketplace in being able to try and engage customers and prospects from that internet generation.
So I guess to, to come to a conclusion on that point, I guess today you know, we're used to tracking emails and phone calls and letters and that kind of thing through our CRM system. As the CRM 2.0 ideas become more and more important, we'll probably find that the CRM systems start to integrate with that kind of thing. So, you know, a customer might read your wiki or even update it or uh, participate in a forum or uh, update their preferences through a self-service website. All of these things uh, we'll be able to track through our CRM system in the future and use that to actually inform our decisions about how we approach that customer and to deliver the service that they want.